What's up? 2020. If you're watching this, you made it. We made it. 2020. That's crazy. I hope everyone had a good holiday. I did. I flew back east. I froze my ass off, but I got to see my family. It was a good break. I hit the reset button, which I very much needed. I'm sure a lot of you also needed that. So thank you again for watching these videos. Go to YouTube and subscribe and like my channel, Rob Space Lawrence, L-E-W-R-E-N-C-E. -E. I'm going to be vamping it up, trying to throw a lot more content out there in 2020. With that comes time management. And I want to get into that and a couple other things. Time management. We all hear that. It's cliche. We're like, whatever. But it, I need to really focus on myself, how much I'm on my phone, social media, and how I can use my time better, how I can use it to, to be more successful and put it towards something that's going to help me grow instead of just wasting my time reading comments of people debating what's going on in Iraq and all the crap. Everybody seems to be a social assassin when somebody comments they want to get out there and Oh my goodness, you guys are wasting your time. I'm not saying don't be prideful in what you believe, but focus on shit that really matters in your life directly. I know that matters for all of us, and God bless everybody getting sent over there, the Marines, the Army, all of you collectively have been over there, and I wish you all the best, but if you're here on the home front and your job is not to put that green suit on and load one in the chamber, then chill out and focus on you. Focus on what really matters in front of you until you are possibly called to to make those strategic decisions and go out and put your life on the line. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Do something better with your time than, than talk shit. I'm wasting my time watching y'all talk shit. It's crazy. I need to stop doing that. And I just said y'all. You know I was in the South. Which brings me to my point of 2020. So... 2019 was crazy. Moved to California, enrolled in cosmetology school. It's been a hell of a road, but it's been extremely beneficial for me. And I've been leveling up. And now it's time to, to level up even more. And that's with everything that I'm going to put my time and effort into. School, time management for school, bettering myself, barbering, the YouTube channel. There's just a lot of things that I need to focus on more instead of all the white noise. And, and I'm going to ask you guys to start focusing on you and, and the things that matter to you the most, that really directly affect you. Focus on those. Focus on the people around you. Not all the nonsense in the world of social media. That's one thing I need to, to work on, which I'm going to work on, is, is trying to stay off my phone a lot more. So 2020, right? I keep seeing everyone being negative and, and, and talking shit to people about you got these goals and here come the goals and stop. And I, and I, and I said that in my video uh, right before Christmas, relax. It, it, and, and if you are setting goals and you're, and you're being positive and you have people just being negative and commenting shit, then delete them out of your life. You, they don't belong there. You, you're not going to miss them. Trust me. They have no direct effect on you uh, if they're detrimental to your to your mental health. Bye. I said that before. Bye. See ya. Nobody cares, man. Nobody cares. Stop posting shit for attention. Go out and change it. If you're posting negative stuff all the time, then you're just... Uh, I don't know. I commend everyone that goes on here and they're doing things to, to better themselves and they want to help other people and they're motivating. But uh, you need to... You can, you can all be that person. You can all do what I'm doing. This isn't hard. It's not... Just open your mouth, talk about life, talk about whatever the hell you got to do. Somebody is going to relate to you, I promise. So I had that guy, uh, a guy reach out to me and he said, I, I saw your video on Lockdown 23 and 1. It was very motivational to see the trials and tribulations and the treachery that you went through to get to where you're at now. And it seems that you got it all figured out. What I want to say to you and anyone else who's watching this is none of us have it figured out. None of us. We don't. We're all kind of treading, uh, you know, walking on thin ice. You know, we, we really are. I know I am. Uh, and and I, we need to be real. We need to we need to focus more on the guy in the mirror. We need to be real, real um, honest with ourselves going into this new year. I do not want to go into 2021 looking back on 2020 mad at myself for not taking the time and the effort out to make shit happen. It's not happening this year. 
It is not. I, I leveled up so much last year and I'm just getting started. I'm literally at 33 years old, really starting to mold into who I'm supposed to be. And that's it. And that's what I want you to do. Find out what drives you and what you love the most and have tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. You've heard it before. It sounds cliche. It's stupid. Well, no, bullshit. Focus and on your strengths. Triple down on your strengths. Everyone wants to double down on their weaknesses. Bullshit. Go after what you're good at. Be the best at what you, what you do. Be better than the person next to you. Everybody next to you is your competition. But also teach people and be kind. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm blabbering. But I wanted to make a video and say I hope everyone had a good holiday, okay? Go into 2020 focused. You know what you need to change. Don't be the person who looks back and has regrets next year. I will not be that person. Be more positive. Call a friend. Go for a walk. Hit the gym. Whatever you got to do, do it. Don't make next year the same as this year. Have a good day.